Cardinal, in your comments today, you noted that this document was historic. In your view, how was it historic? Because for the first time, we have a dialogue between the Council of Churches and the, the Alliance of Evangelical Alliance and the, and the Vatican delegation, the three of us. The, the newcomer are the, the Evangelical Alliance. Well, in that sense, it's an historical document. It's historical in that this has never been done before? No, no. The three partners, no. But also it's historical because for the first time, we have the courage to say that as Christians, we have the duty to announce the gospel. And even in a pluri-religious society, even when in a world sometimes which organizes society, uh, without God and sometimes against God, we are not afraid. We, we know that we have to announce this message because it is a treasure and we cannot hide a treasure, we have to share it. And has it been your feeling that we, that the Christians have been afraid to expose the treasure? Well, these last years, uh, I think uh, after the crown of the Bering Wall, uh, it is very difficult for many people to accept that God uh, as a place in the society. And uh, there was, as you know, an attempt to privatize religion. And the great paradox is now uh, we put God uh, aside and there are um, many, many gods. Who take the, so the problem is not atheism, the problem is idolatry. And Christians have to remind their fellow men and women that uh, you cannot live without God. So you see this as a catalyst yes. for witness? For witness, yes. And I think it will give courage to, the, to, the, to, our Christian, to our Christian brothers and sisters around the world to have the, the courage of, uh, of the difference. Because as Christians, we are a contradiction. Christianism has always been uh, always disturbed. The, 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 you cannot, we cannot think of a, a fashionable Christianism because the gospel is a sign of contradiction, as Christ is a sign of contradiction. There's much discussion of interreligious dialogue, uh, the clash of Muslim-Christian culture. What might this do to uh, help in furthering the witness of the gospel and yet aid in understanding among religions? Well, if you look at the text, you see that uh, there is a great insistence on the respect that we have to, um, to have in front of people who share another faith. So uh, there is a, a style, a Christian style of announcing his own faith, which is, as St. Peter said, with gentleness and reverence. So this is not a fight. We, we, do not, we do not impose, we propose. And this is the difference between Christianity and Muslim, because Islam, in many, many uh, countries, is a kind of conquest. No, we, we, don't, we don't impose our faith, we propose it. Why would the Vatican want to be involved at this level on this critical issue? Because uh, as Catholics, uh, we have a, uh, the duty to be present in all over the world, and Catholic means universal. And so we are uh, aware that uh, our Christian, our Catholic brothers and sisters who live in countries sometimes where they are persecuted need to be sustained and they have to know that uh, uh, they have all the church is behind them and I think not only the Catholic church but all the Christian churches. So I think this is a, also a text of solidar spiritual solidarity. Thank you, Cardinal. Thank you.